Now it's the EFL launch date as we get ready for the season opener on Friday night. And Wrexham will be returning to the Football League. And I'm delighted to say we can head over there now and speak to the man in charge. Good afternoon to the Wrexham boss, Phil Parkinson. Phil, how are you doing? Yeah, very good, thanks. How are you, gents? Yeah, we're very good. We're very good. Um, so how's pre-season gone? You all ready for the season? Yeah, it's been it's been interesting. Obviously, we've been to America for two weeks. So that's... Uh, you know, been an amazing experience for everybody. Um, yeah, so we've enjoyed that. Came back Saturday. So um, the lads are in decent shape yesterday in training. So look as though they've recovered from the journey and uh, very excited about what is going to be um, a big game in the history of Wrexham Football Club, the first first game back in the EFL. Phil, obviously you've been in America with your pre season. You play some big teams, Chelsea and, and Man United. Um, how, how do you feel you've done against these big teams and how? You know, what kind of feedback have you got going into the season? Yeah, obviously different challenges when you play teams of that quality, especially the Chelsea game. Mm. Uh, and it's you working a lot on your out of possession stuff, but that, that's that's a good good exercise. Um, but I felt we acquitted ourselves well, even in the Chelsea game, the scoreline probably didn't reflect the balance of the game. Um, and yeah, good exercises. The Man United game was different again. And then we obviously played at LA Galaxy and, and Philadelphia Union. Phil, I've always wondered this now. You're, you're the manager of Wrexham and, and we know Wrexham are not like any other club at the minute because, of course, of your, your Hollywood owners. What is it like managing, obviously, Wrexham as a team, but then everything that comes with it? Yeah, I think, you know, it's, it's, it's a challenge, but we've, we've worked hard to separate the kind of the media stuff and... Um, you know the Hollywood aspect of the club b- between from work day, which is training every day, and, and match days, because you know as as you both know that you know we've embraced that side, the commercial side of the club, but football is about Saturday afternoon at three o'clock, and and make sure you're prepared and you're ready to give your all. And I think I feel the lads and, and the staff have done that well so far, and we intend to keep getting that divide just right. Where make sure that we enjoy kind of everything which comes with being part of the Wrexham story, but equally doesn't detract from from the real work on a day-to-day basis. You've got a, a Welsh derby, and I've played in a few derbies myself, and you can't really beat them. They are something something special. So you've got a derby against Newport County this year. Have, have your boys spoke about this? Have you spoke about it at all, you know, this game coming up, and how are you going to fear in it? Do you know what? It hasn't really been mentioned um, a lot about the, 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 the game against Newport. You know, we've just been focusing on the, the, the pre-season and preparing ourselves for the, for the first game of the season. But that'll be a very exciting game when it, when it comes around because um, to be involved in those derby matches would be terrific. But equally, you no, know, last year in the National League, it was a very southern-based division, as you both know. This year, you know, we're in a division with a lot more local derbies for us as well. Stockport and Tramia, two local teams, you know, crew as well, are very local to us. So there's going to be some terrific atmospheres and, uh, you know, we're all very, very excited about embarking on a new season. So how important is momentum? Because last season, Wrexham, fantastic season, over 100 points, um, played some really, really good stuff. You're now in, in, as in League Two. There are some big sides in League Two as well, some big football clubs. Do you think a lot of it is about momentum? Could you do back-to-back uh, promotions? I think we've we've not got to shy away from talking about uh, achieving that. But we equally, equally, we know it's going to be a challenge. Like you said, there's a lot of big clubs. I think a lot of teams have looked at us in Notts County coming up and gone, well, cool, we need to raise the bar in terms of their own squad building. And there's been quite a lot of money spent in the division. And you know, everyone's talking about you know the kind of challenge that Division Two represents the season. But equally, you know, we're not going to shy away from the expectations on our shoulders. We've dealt with that last season, and uh, it's up to us to deal with it again. Uh, Phil, you, you, you've got one of your star men, Paul Mullin, out injured, um, and he's doing in the states doing his rehab at Rob McKenney's house. How is that coming along? Yeah, obviously, see, you know, it's a huge blow for us. You know, we can't hide away from that fact. Um, injuries are part and parcel of football, we know that. And it is quite sad that Moles, with all the, the contribution he's made, that he's not running out to, to have this be part of this day at the weekend. All we can do is give him the best possible care over there. The owners will make sure he's well looked after. And in a week's time, he'll be able to fly back. And uh, then we can have, have a more definitive time scale of when he'll be back for us. Phil, you said it there. I mean, Paul Mullen is important. I mean, you've got to say he's one of the, certainly he was one of the best strikers, if not the best striker outside the Football League. And he's 
unfortunately he's injured but how important was it for you that Ben Foster came back he's got the experience he looked like he embraced the Wrexham culture he was fantastic last season how important is it that he's coming back yeah I think Fozzie typifies what we've tried to create here that you know he's got a lot of work outside football with his podcast and his media work but his professionalism when he comes in um, on the training pitch on a match day the way he prepares himself is a great example he's a great role model to our younger players so having a goalkeeper and a person of his calibre um, in the building was huge for us. You know, we were unsure whether he wanted to stay. We le- left him for seven to ten days after the euphoria of the promotion and then sat down and had a chat with him. And uh, he said straight away that he felt good and, and he, he would like a, another go at it. Phil, you don't usually see a lot of the, the, the club's owners get involved or over the media, but with, with Rob McAllenie and, and Ryan Reynolds, they've been a part of it as much as the coaching staff and the players um, there at the front foot. What's it like working alongside them? No, it's been amazing. They're, they're both um, you know, really great people. They've let us get on with our jobs, not just me, other people in the club. And they, they said that from day one to me, that you know they... Um, didn't feel they had a great knowledge of the, the soccer over here, as they call it, and they're going to employ people and trust them to do the jobs. And, and they've done that uh, to the letter, really. And, you know, when they're over here, the lads, all of everybody, you know, loves having them in and around the training ground. But equally, if they're coming to the training ground, they'll always ring me and say, look, we want to come watch train today. You know, are you happy with that? And sometimes say, yeah, great. Another time I said, it'd be great if you come. No, just no cameras today. So I think the lads would appreciate that. And, you know, they've always, like, respected, um, you know, when is work time for us and, uh, um, you know, just got involved, but made sure they're in the background when we're working. Absolutely. Parky, top man, thanks for coming on and good luck for the season. Cheers. Yeah. Thank you, gentlemen.